what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about jeepers creepers reborn today jeepers creepers 4 as you see on your screen here that website 23rdday.com the website that we didn't used to have a countdown for now has a countdown of course the countdown time has changed since i took this screen cap but yes we are nearly less than seven days before we get that official uh, announcement reveal or whatever the heck it may be don't know what it is it's supposed to happen next saturday i'm assuming it's supposed to happen at who well who knows <laughs> next saturday is when it's supposed to happen but the countdown will tell us better than i can shout out to tyler who also reached out to timo over on twitter to let him know about this and see what he had to say about it he's just saying he doesn't know anything like always he said that that's likely the plan although i don't know myself exactly what it is that's going to be revealed on the 23rd day after being asked that he's heard that either on the 23rd or 28th that something about Jeepers Creepers Reborn will be revealed and he asked him if it's true and that's what Timo had to say. That's likely the plan. I don't believe Timo is that in the dark about what's going on. I think he's just not allowed to come out and directly say it but he's allowed to beat around the bush. He's allowed to either ignore or beat around the bush and his choice of uh, fun is beating around the bush. <laughs> uh as far as like what's coming i again am hoping and praying that it's an official cast announcement hopefully a better official look at the creeper some official stills getting us in the better mindset of what we can expect from this movie getting to understand what the characters are and who they and what they're going to bring to the table maybe that sydney craven interview that i told you guys has already been shot on set who knows if they actually release it but we know we have new cast interviews on the way because an email came out saying that we have all of this stuff to look forward to coming soon regarding the film and all the exclusives that we'll get since we subscribed if you go to the 23rd day website and put in your email you have subscribed at the bottom of the page you can subscribe to receive official exclusive things about the film to to your email directly now whether or not the movie itself is actually going to be released this year I believe that that's not going to happen. However, I will say that there is a potential chance that at the end of the day, what I had originally told you could in fact still be the case. And because it got revealed too soon, they started backtracking, started pulling from the tickets that were on sale since they were on sale. For what reason? Maybe they didn't want anyone to know about it. But again, like I said before, when you have a fathom of it, you have to plan this stuff well in advance. November 2nd wasn't a lie. It's just that that's probably something that's changed. November 2nd wasn't a lie. All these outlets and these chains didn't have theaters. All these theaters and theaters and uh, AMC chains and other chains, some regal cinemas, they didn't have tickets on sale just for the sake of, hey, you know, it's a it's a good day to, you know, put Jeepers Creepers 4 or Jeepers Creepers were born in our system and, you know, put up a bunch of random showtimes on November 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and let's charge the, the public $13 admission just for the fun of it. That's not that's not what happened. Clearly, there was some communication between Screen Media and AMC, Regal, all these other chains that had it listed, and that was the plan. That was the targeted date, November 2nd. Whether or not they'll still be able to make that date, maybe we'll find that out next Saturday when this official big announcement or whatever the heck it is comes out to let us know what's going on with the movie but again if you go to the website it looks like they're going to reveal a an official poster for one thing the other thing that we all are hoping and praying for is the cast lineup but at this point i've kind of already detailed everything and again i will say that if they have any major surprises like a ray wise or a gina phillips in it announce them don't save them for don't save them for the film announce them use them to market the film gina phillips and ray wise if you reach the right audience in terms of those that have been waiting since 2003 to revisit the world of jeepers creepers appropriately in the 23 year time jump if ray wise and gina phillips are in your movie promote them as being in it don't save it for the movie sure that'll be a nice surprise but at this point i think this movie is pretty in a position to be very desperate for attention <laughs> if it wants to actually launch a new trilogy because at the end of the day even if we don't get that that launch of a new trilogy from this at least hopefully a lot of us can sit down and say you know what i waited since 2003 to finally have a decent trilogy on my hand and i do Hopefully by the end of Jeepers Creepers 4, again, I'm not expecting anything to be a masterpiece here. I don't think you guys should expect that either. Expect it to be very subpar in terms of how it develops its characters and maybe it's more 
effective in just being a straightforward, dumb, fun horror movie. Kind of like how I guess I would describe Jeepers Creepers 2. Because Jeepers Creepers 2, yes, is a step down from the original. I do say I have more fun with Jeepers Creepers 2. It's definitely more action-packed. I think I rewatched that movie a lot more than the original. But if you're talking about which one was the better made film out of the, out of the two that we, of course, consider good films. Forget that third one. <laughs> I'm going to put Jeepers Creepers 1 over the second one. But hopefully by the end of Jeepers Creepers 4, we have yet another decent entry. We can finally sit down and say, you know what? I'm content with what I've got. I don't care what they do with this IP anymore. If they end up making a Jeepers Creepers 5, I'll watch it. If they don't, I'm fine because I have an I, I have my, my completed trilogy that I've been waiting so desperately to have. And also, I don't want to see the Creeper die necessarily. If the Creeper ends up living at the end of Jeepers Creepers 4 and it ends on another cliffhanger, then it just ends on a cliffhanger. I mean, in many ways, you could argue that the original film ended on a cliffhanger because the creeper was still out there. He was still poised to keep on terrorizing, but we got a sequel, which resolves said cliffhanger. Depending on how you look at it, Jeepers Creepers, the original one, could be, to some people, perceived as ending on a cliffhanger since the monster is still out there and it hasn't been stopped. But, you know, next Saturday, we're supposed to get that big, 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 big announcement. Uh, pretty sure it'll be the poster. Hopefully it'll be the cast lineup. Hopefully we'll have an updated synopsis, some better official stills of the creeper, maybe even a sit down with the person who plays the creeper to kind of learn the mindset that they had going into the role. Are they fans of the original movies? Did they watch anything from Jonathan Breck to try to kind of not necessarily overly imitate but kind of draw inspiration from how they brought the character to life and what they want to do with their own little spin on it so much that we can i guess look forward to hopefully potentially getting next saturday because again the only thing it looks like we are 100 percent going to get is an official poster but of course anything could happen we could end up getting an announcement saying hey go out and watch jeepers creepers reborn november 2nd and here are the tickets because again at this time of this recording from what i've seen there are still tickets on sale Fathom has said that those are leftovers from the already canceled event, but who knows? Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.